hello everyone uh, hope you are doing well uh, i welcome you all uh, in the new lecture uh, in which we gonna learn how to do uh, the sum, sum functionality uh, how we can use the averages some ifs how we can extract the information uh, from a particular address or city or sales agent uh, how we can uh, combinely use sum and if uh, average and if and and this is the data of a property uh, which says okay this was the property uh, and this property was listed in these particular cities and these were sold by these agents okay these are num uh, this, this is the count of property okay this is an, uh, the list of one one so these are all one okay the asking price uh, the seller asked this price that he wants to sell at this price and this is the price at which the seller sold uh, the price uh, the sold the property okay and this was the listed date and this is a date when the property was sold okay and now we're going to do some analysis and analytics to the some simple calculations and we're going to learn it how we can do it okay uh, so coming down okay we have the list of 81 properties uh, let's start it let's apply uh, let's do the total and averages total and averages of these properties uh, let's say okay let's say I say this is the we am gonna total it so what is the, uh, the simple functionality is we can sum all of them uh, by simply uh, just starting from the equal sum sum open the parenthesis and you just need to select the whole uh, ranges you can do it by control shift up bracket close okay and enter it let me just show the formula bar okay here you can see uh, I just put uh, a2 to e8 and bracket close and I enter it and it's showing okay this is the total uh, number of listing properties okay uh, this is the price uh, if you want to do the sum of the prices uh, you can do otherwise the better would be we can just do the average okay what is the average price of one property so we have a functionality which is average where you have to press equal uh, you will type a v e r a g average you will open the parenthesis and you will select uh, all the prices range through your mouse you will do close the bracket shift bracket shift zero and then you have to press enter and this is the average uh, property uh, at which the, uh, the price is sold similarly uh, you can copy this and paste it here like this and when you double click you can see the system itself bring all the averages to the next column as well okay so means when you have to change ranges you don't need to type again you can just copy and paste uh, next after it or before it okay so these is the three statistics we came to know okay uh, we can so I can mention here okay this is the sum functionality just for your for your memory this is sum functionality uh, this is average functionality and this is also average functionality okay so now I'm gonna at the sideline I'm gonna do some analysis here okay uh, let's say uh, I want to see the examples of all our selling agents for example or let's say city let's take the city first okay I just take the city and let's say I want to see uh, the total listing in that particular city the average asking price okay and the average bid price okay now I I am going to use a sum if functionality okay I'm gonna use some if functionality to calculate a particular city which will be entered here okay let's say I wanna see the uh, see the logo 
okay right click and paste as values so our formatting remains the same okay now i'm gonna apply some sum of functionality let's say i'm gonna press equal sum and if what does sum if basically do uh, based on a condition if it is true system will do the sum of that particular meeting criteria let's say you press sum if when you open it it is asking for a range this is a criteria range and then you have to give the criteria and then you will give the sum range please note that the length of the range and sum range should be equal if there are let's say two columns two rows uh, in this particular range uh, there must be a two rows in some range as well what does it mean let me show you uh, let's say uh, I want to select all this I want to search in all these cities I just selected it okay so I just did it C2 to C28 my starting is 2 and my ending is 28 so it is important to notice here that my sum range should also be starting from 2 and ending at 82 if it is mismatch it will not work perfectly okay so I just give my range that I need to search this particular city in this range so I just provided the range when I then I will press the comma to give another criteria okay okay what we need to search in this particular range I need to search this city in this particular range please guys notice that this yellow tooltip is very important if you are ignoring it if you are not seeing it and if you are near you will get confused so please notice that we have to provide range first then comma we have to provide the criteria the criteria is we need to search Luco in this particular city range and then I will press a comma and here I'm gonna provide the sum range remember what I did said <coughs> it should starting from 82 so it's starting from 2 and it ending at 82 so it should be happening same with the sum range <coughs> what I need to sum I need to sum number of listings so see it's e2 it's starting from 2 and it will end at e82 okay this and this should be the same length see this is e 20 to 2 to 82 this is against 2 to 82 and now you will close the parenthesis and press the enter and okay it says zero why it says zero did i enter the correct okay notice here this is the city no this is not a city this is a person name so there is no <coughs> any city in this column because I entered an incorrect uh, city name instead of city name I just entered the sailing agent name so let me just correct it I entered Alpine okay there are 14 entries of Alpine <coughs> there are 14 entries of Alpine in this particular listing all right uh, average asking price okay then I need to search the average asking price of these 14 in listing only this coming in the alpine <coughs> okay so I do some okay average price sorry so I need to do average and I can type if so this is average if <coughs> if the criteria is matching then system will do the average of that meeting criterion entries let's say average if open the parenthesis it's asking for a range okay where you need to search okay I need to search the city in this column again 2 to 82 comma I need to search this city in that particular same as sum if just it's working as an average instead of sum and then you will comma it's asking for the average range okay my average range is this I need to do the asking price <coughs> Okay, I need to do the asking price and close the parenthesis and press enter. Okay, this is the average of 14 listing of asking price. Okay, make sure we have to do some formatting as well. Okay, uh, because this is not looking pretty because so many decimals. So I will just keep my cursor on this cell. I will just select the cell, go on home and press this comma. 
okay and i can remove two digits from here i can add digit from here and i can remove digits from here okay so i don't need to show the averages i think i don't need to show the call uh, the decimals i think okay and i need to calculate the average bit of the same so again i will do the average if sorry average if i will open the bracket okay and i will select all the cities okay all the cities are selected now now comma now you will select the criteria the criteria is i need to search i will find in this particular city list okay and then i press the comma okay this time i have to do averages of this right and the bracket close and enter and here we got the average of selling price okay so this is the average bid of the bid price and the asking price okay sorry not bid price the selling price my mistake okay and now we can check the difference okay uh, what is the usual difference okay this minus this the average is 27 percent it means if person is listing a property for hundred thousand <coughs> he will be selling at what percentages you can take the percentage okay okay this is it means on average five percent discount is given on the asking price right so we have done some analysis uh, very simple analysis okay we can do just like the left side this number should always be starting from the left side okay we can do it the mid side okay we can bold them control b will help you to bold it okay now let me change the city uh, um, let's say american frog i want to see so i just want to see the american frog okay you can see average 3.8 percent discount is g1 uh, there was 20 listing uh, in all the data the average asking price is this average selling price is this and this is the difference and this is the uh this is the percentage of discount it's being given uh, average discount I can say average discount okay so I am hopeful that you got the idea uh, of how to use the sum if functionality and average if functionality and simple sum and average uh, so my challenge is to you I did this for the city one you need to do the same for the tailing agent okay this is your task okay you need to report me uh, you can send me your queries uh, on my email as well okay and i will surely gonna respond to you don't worry about that okay and you can or, or you can also post in the whatsapp group uh, which we have provided you okay uh, this is uh, the sum if now you have to apply the same thing for the selling agent and you need to do this and this is things you have to calculate by yourself if you need this file uh, uh, I will I will I will drop this in the description okay you can take it and then let me know if you have any question in comment or email me okay thank you so much and have a nice day